All right, we have to find the limit of this piecewise function. So let's work it out, solution. So it's a piecewise function, and looks like for x less than 2, we're using this function. And for x greater than or equal to 2, f of x is actually this function. So what we'll do is we'll take one-sided limits as x approaches 2. That way we can actually compute the limit. So let's look at the limit as x approaches 2 from the left. So let's think here. So here's a little picture. Here's 2. We're approaching 2 from the left. So here's x. Right, We're approaching from the left. That means x is less than 2. That means we're going to use the first piece right here. So in this case, f of x is x squared minus 4x plus 6. This is a polynomial, so we can just plug in 2. So we get 2 squared minus 4 times 2 plus 6. So this is 4 minus 8 plus 6. Uh, here's where it gets tricky. Negative 4. And then this is a 6, so we just get 2. All right, so now we have to compute the limit from the right. So as x approaches 2 from the right. Now if x is approaching 2 from the right, x is bigger than 2. So here we have negative x squared plus 4x minus 2. Right? We're, using, we're using this piece here, right? because here's 2. We're approaching 2 from the right, so x is bigger than 2. right? x is bigger than 2. That tells us to use this piece here. All right, at this point, we can just plug in the 2 again. So we get negative 4 plus 8. 4 times 2 is 8 minus 2. So negative 6 plus 8 is equal to 2. So the limit from the left is equal to 2. The limit from the right is equal to 2. So therefore, the limit as x approaches 2 from any direction is also equal to 2. Now, if we had gotten different answers here, then the limit would not exist.